Hey everyone, it's me, Wook here, and we're back with some more Professor Layden. Um, as promised, I've... This is the answer. It's 34. I eventually figured out what was the what answer. This is a lot of... There was like 17 combinations or something. Oh, yes. Yeah, see. Very good. A series of three or more of the same digit appears 34 times over the course of 24 hours. See the chart above for details. It's easy enough to spot times like 11, 11, and 122, but how many people forget about the combinations that are like 10, 0, 0, or 11, 12? I was also screwing up a lot of stuff along the way. But yeah, 11 is where a lot of them are. Yeah, good job, Luke. Even though it was totally me. Uh, let's see. Talk to this guy. This town hall what business do you have here? I'm looking for a cat. Mm. Yep, figured. Another riddle. Okay. There are two shapes, one large and one small. Each is made up of little triangles. Dipping your fountain pen into the ink one time gives you just enough ink to draw four little triangles as picked in the shape on the left. So with that in mind, how many times do you have to dip your pen in the ink in order to draw the shape of the right made up of 36 triangles? Uh, let me see. So 1, 2, 3, 4. I don't think the middle one counts. Because, let me see. So when you make one tiny triangle, do you make two? And then when you're making three, so there's three. So, let's see, that would be three, 36, so, divided by three, right? Let's be one. Six. I don't think the answer is 12, though. Let's see. One, two, three. That's one. Let's see. Does that middle one don't count? So that one go. One, two. It's two. I think this is the answer. That should do it. Critical thinking is the key to success. That's twenty one divided by wait what? Why is it twenty one? Oh I guess I see. I was fucking up on that one. It's alright. Everything solved in the end. Yeah, I noticed everyone is crazy about puzzles. We found a strange gizmo. Cool. The chandelier? No. I'm leaving. So, we're still looking for a cat. Why not visit the local inn and see if we can. Okay. Guess we don't need the cat right now. Hello, shaky man. How's things? Going pretty good. Sure. As a diehard non-conformist non myself. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, let's see. Three of the four images shown below are the exact same picture rotated in a variety of ways. Can you find the odd one out? Sure. Let's see. Let's start with A. Heart. Okay. Heart. Okay. 
Okay, so the heart is right in every single place. So let's look right here. Okay. 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 Let's look at the middle. Two. Oh, wait a minute. I think it's this one. Because this wasn't going. I think it's I think it's D. Cause if you notice the thing on the pool, yeah, D doesn't make any sense. Go with D. D for well, D or C. I was right. It was D. You have to look at the the middle rotation one. Yeah. I'm pretty good at it. I'm pretty good at being non-conformist with my puzzles. Wait, dude. Thanks for some scrap of paper. Going in the end. Let me guess, you got a puzzle for me too. Oh, hello. You got a big ass mouth, lady. Mm. She has open room in that mouth. It's literally like, it's so big, she has to keep it. Mm. Okay, sure. Thank you, lady. Layden looks just like, not super happy to be there. Okay. Huh? <laughs> Okay. That's that's weird. Let me give there you go, Layton has stool. Okay, see? Puzzle time, right? Look, a hidden puzzle. My beloved. The work from famous was recently discovered. The painting is a self-portrait of the painter in his latest years and entitled My Beloved. Assuming the artist wasn't a huge narcissist and referring to himself, the beloved should appear in the portrait somewhere. Can you find his beloved? Sure. Okay. one of them findy thingies. Now, which one of these would make a really good bust of a woman? Hmm. Okay, see, so I feel... No. No, that's just him upside down. Oh, wait, I see. Is she there? Submit. How does this sound? What? I fucking found her. Oh, I was sure I had it. That's bullshit. Apparently, my lady wasn't good enough. Alright, let's try that again. Maybe it's... Is that better? No, that woman looks fucking weird. make her the right levels of bust and the right levels of neck. You can't have a too busty or too necky woman. Well, 
I mean, we solved it, really. Hmm. Damn right. Easy peasy. I had it that first time, I just didn't have the... Whatever. I'm not about your conformist views on women. Laden. Do you have a puzzle for me, by the way, miss? Miss Big Mouth? She does. Okay. As you can see, though, what we've got here is some trash and a dustpan made of matchsticks. Can you move to change the picture? Only two? like you would want it. Oh, wait, now. sense either. Is that it? There we go. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Sometimes Every you overthink stuff. Yeah, get in the trash. They need that rug. Okay, let's go. We better get back to searching for Claudia. That's what I was fucking doing. Anyway, we got a house. That's a good enough stopping point for right now. So, join me next time where we finally hope, hopefully, finally find that damn cat. See you later, everyone.